Hello, dear students. I welcome you all to the online lecture series of Python application programming prescribed by VTU. Today in this video, we are going to explore the most powerful library in Python, that is regular expression. Before you start using regular expression library, you have to import regular expression library by <clears throat> uh, using the syntax import re, import space re. Here in this uh, video, we will have a look at the search and find operations like search and extract operations of a particular string. Suppose uh, we have a text file like, I have an example text file here that is mbox short text file. Here in this file, I have a, a couple of text or information regarding the mails been sent or received and some <clears throat> uh, probability of some content and this text is of some different form this text is of some different form say i have a text like uh, mail transactions being done from a mail id with uh, different domain names dot edu dot org and dot uh, uk and uh, so so on so here, if I want to, if I am uh, very specific about looking into a particular substring, say I am interested in the strings of mail IDs in this text. So it, it will be a huge task or it will be a cumbersome task for me to manually go through all these lines and look or search for a particular substring. So in these cases, like when you're trying to look for a substring in huge amount of data. And if you want to have uh, some kind of analysis on uh, using the text, some kind of diagnosis using some uh, text substring and to know the behavior of the data. So here we will be using regular expression in general. So it is the most powerful tool, as I said, uh, searching for required patterns and extracting only the lines which matches that pattern which you're intended for. We have done such task, uh, task earlier by using string slices. Do you remember? I use string slicing method. I use a find method. I use split find and uh, at position, space position in order to find that domain ID or an host ID. Uh, so uh, we have seen those examples in our previous video. Here, the task of searching and extracting is very common and Python provides a powerful library that is RE, which handle this task very conveniently. Though they have uh, a quite complicated syntax because we will be using uh, meta characters or uh, special symbols as an operators of regular expressions. The regular expressions are themselves a small programs to search and parse inside the strings in the huge data, data mining or text mining. To use them in our program, as I said earlier, we have to import it first by uh, calling a module RE. So here, this is my first program using regular expressions. Here, I'm trying to find the lines in the text file, I have created a text file, my file dot text. If you want to have a look at the text file, I have my file dot text. I have a couple of lines inside this text file, like, hello, how are you? I am doing fine, how about you? And some uh, uh, random text, which doesn't, these two lines doesn't carry any information, uh, just uh, uh, to, uh, to consider as some example, and to uh, try to make you understand. Suppose if I want to use um, to read the text file 
and uh, I want to read the lines which are, which consists of the word called how. I want to read the lines. I want to search the lines which has got how and print the line. So this is my simple program. I import re because I am going to use the methods inside this package re. Here I'll be using search, which is used to find a particular substring. Now my substring, which I'm interested for in this example is how <clears throat> within a string. So now I will, I would read the file and open the text file. And now for line in F hand, F hand is the text file now. So for line in F hand, line is nothing but an individual lines. And this is an iterative variable. So I'm going to remove the additional unwanted spaces by using R strip performed on line. So line dot R strip to remove the additional spaces or unwanted spaces, uh, which we already uh, witnessed in our previous video in strings. <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, call a function called re dot search. So here I'm going to call a conditional statement, make a conditional statement. If re dot search, re dot search uses two input arguments. One is the intended substring which you're looking for, that is how. And where are you looking at? You're looking at the line, so individual lines. So this is my re search operation where I am intended character or a substring as a first input argument and line as a second input argument, which searches the lines containing a word called how. So now if I uh, run this program so I can see hello how are you the line which consists how and the line which consists how in how about you these two lines in my file dot text has been printed there are regular expressions make use of special characters as I mentioned earlier with specific meaning here I have drawn a first special character that is a carrot symbol which indicates the beginning of the line suppose if I am looking for the line which begins with how. See, remember here, if I place, again, I written the same set of commands. I import re, regular expressions, and <clears throat> I uh, call a function, I call a, uh, create an object called hand, and for this hand, uh, I create an iterative variable line in f hand. So individual line, I strip it because in order to uh, eliminate extra additional spaces, now, here, the only change between this program and this program is I have used this special character called caret, just in order to make sure that print the line which has got the substring how at the beginning in the line. So I will print the line which has got the substring called how at the beginning. So likewise, uh, you can try to customize your uh, the search operations. And there are some uh, list of important meta characters. This we have already seen uh, matches beginning of the line. This matches end of the line. Suppose if you are interested in the lines which ends with how, this is the changes. This is the change which you are going to make in future. So now I am intended for to look for the character or the string called how at the beginning likewise dot matches any single character except a new line uh, match any single character in brackets matches any single character which are not in the brackets remember this carrot single if uh, symbol it if it appears to be inside the square bracket it means this is a not operate be careful so likewise i have <clears throat> many such meta characters just go through these meta characters and the use of these meta characters accordingly. So uh, use for search operations. Now I'll take up uh, some examples of regular expressions. I can use these regular expressions like if I am looking for uh, an all lower case vowels like this, A E I O U, zero to nine. If my match is specific to the numbers only, I use this uh, syntax. If my um, uh, pattern or substring which I'm looking for is of a lowercase ASCII character, uh, uppercase combination of lowercase, uppercase and numbers. And this, if uh, match the characters or a substring, which does not falls into your oval, lowercase oval, and does not match zero to nine. That means match anything other than 
uh, digits. Okay? So be careful if I am using a caret symbol inside a square brackets or braces. So that doesn't that means it should not appear during your match while matching the patterns or strings. The most commonly used meta character is dot, which matters any character. Suppose in the same my file dot text, if I am looking for the lines which starts with I capital I and has got two characters, two dot represents two characters between and followed by M. So this can be I am I space am or this can be IDSM or IASM. So that is why I have considered these two uh, uh, strings. So the lines should begin with I. So that is why I have used caret symbol here. It begins with capital I with two dots representing two characters here with this particular space see here the substring has matched with I am. So that's why the say, the line which carries I am is printed here. The line which carries I this is first character D this is second character dot S yes, and this is M. So likewise I can structure my I can structure my uh, uh, patterns in regular expression and give it as an input argument to re.search. So this is my pattern which I am looking for. And if I run this program, I do find I am doing fine IDSM, IASM. So this begins with I and two dots representing two characters. Here, since I have known, since I know what, what is the number of exact characters appearing between two characters or two letters. So here I can place some two dots or three dots accordingly. But what if I don't know the exact number of characters between any two characters or string. So it is better we make use of the dot and plus continuously here dot and plus like uh, continuously together. So it's something like this dot plus. So this means so there may be n number of characters in between any two strings or characters okay so this is dot plus operation so here uh, see uh, i have used pattern is equal to h dot plus u okay so now it should start with the line should starts with h capital h uh, sorry small uh, lowercase h dot plus represents any number of characters between h and u so this is fed as a pattern as an input argument to your re dot search and line which are intended for and now if I uh, run this program so whichever lines which has got which begins with H and ends with U okay and ends with U in between there may be any multiple characters so remember <clears throat> so dot plus represents there might be any number of characters in between so these two lines have been printed. So line should start with either from or from. So this is very important now. Uh, here I am going to uh, from this example onwards. I am going to use my inbox short dot text uh, data in order to pass and search and look for a particular string or a substring. So here I will use inbox short text. I shall retain same set of commands but here understand this pattern pattern which begins with inside the square bracket if i use capital f and small f that is uppercase and lowercase f r o m dot star see here dot star is nothing but zero or more characters dot plus one or more characters dot star zero or more characters and see this dollar symbol represents the line should begin with either uppercase or lowercase from in between there may be zero or any characters zero or more characters but it should end this dollar is nothing but end it should end with edu so here in this example i have a couple of lines which starts with from in my uh, mbox short text and with ends with edu so now i'll use this pattern as an input argument into your search operation or search function re.search comma line. So if I print the line, you may see 
there are so many lines in my inbox short text which begins with from and ends with edu suppose if i want a pattern to extract lines ending with any digit so if you want to extract the lines with ends with any digit you can simply use this tag 0 to 9 inside the square bracket so this is nothing but the lines with ends with a digit here i can use not operators this first character is begin but it should not include your lower case as well as numbers plus is nothing but any number of lower case as well as numbers should not be used while searching your operators i hope this is clear okay so now here again uh, i have another pattern uh, can you just realize this pattern for uh, 5 seconds yeah so this pattern is about uh, see this is begin with and how how it should begin it should begin with uppercase characters from a to z dot star is you can you may have zero or more characters in between this is an end how your line or the search should end so your line should end by the digits see this start with uppercase letter and end with digits so this starts with uppercase letter and end with digits in between you may have zero or more such characters zero or more any characters not such characters now i want to extract a data using regular expression so i use find all remember if i want here i am just looking for a particular substring inside a string so if that is satisfied that line has been printed here in so far in our example the entire line has been printed suppose if i wanted only this to be printed that means you want to extract if you want to extract a particular substring use find all so i'll use find all which returns a list if you use this object if you use this method i have imported regular expression just a small example if i apply an re dot find all on a small string called a message from some mail id to another mail id about a meeting at 2 pm so this is my string how to use a string in order to find uh, a mail id is here suppose if i am intended to find the mail id is inside a string so this is how i can find so the mail id the one thing you need to understand the pattern the mail id will consist then at symbol so find at find at with the characters non white space character before and after at so how do you represent this non white space character i represent it by using backslash s plus backslash s plus means the non white space characters at least one non white space character see this is a white space and this is a non white space character before at if you place s plus before at and this is s plus after at that means again non white space characters after at in s so this is my input string s so in s i am looking for at symbol before at you should have some non white space and after at you should have some non white space character so that will make me to extract only this part that is cse at umesh.edu swan at iupui.edu but at 2 pm is not extracted though i have at and after at i have some non white spaces but i don't have non white spaces before at so this will not be your elements inside the list so if i run this program uh, you may see now i have a pattern matching with this string this doesn't have at this doesn't have at i have space but when it comes to this particular string i have space here but i have non white space characters before at and i have non white space character after at only if this is satisfied 
that string is made as an element inside your list here at 2 pm is not extracted why because of a white space before add there is no non white space before add so the string is false so it will not extract at 2 pm uh, the same program i will use it to extract all email ids from the file mbox.txt at the end of this video i will be sharing this uh, all these files and uh, required materials in edmodo you may download it on your edmodo and you may run the program along with the supporting files so uh, here uh, i have used find all same pattern but here i have used a small condition just rather than simply printing x if you have some characters only the line which contain an email id can be printed if i say length of x greater than zero it's a small condition which makes sure that there is, it's not an empty string that's it so i have so many email ids which was present inside that mbox text so uh, but here you should understand one more thing uh, it is also it has also printed this angular braces because it appeared to be before at before a white space and after at before a white space maybe uh, this since this is included inside the string which actually i am not interested so what i need to do understand understand the pattern any email ids would have uh, a characters that is uh, characters uppercase lowercase as well as a numbers as well as the numbers before at is it okay so can i make a restriction here by saying it should contain a to z uppercase it should contain a to z uh, lowercase and it should contain 0 to 9 so i can restrict my string before at to be and after at to be what a lowercase because there are no domain ids which has got integers or some numbers inside their domain id so i can restrict it something a to z so let me not change this existing program i have a separate program which is written here so understand the pattern so i so that uh, these these special symbols are not allowed while finding so here i can have uh, a specific pattern something like this so s star s star is nothing but you can have number of characters but restricted to so whatever appears inside the brackets it is restricted to this string star and whatever characters restricted to after add so if i use this if i use these restrictions followed by backslash s star at s star that means it's a restriction that i am putting what should be the characters before at and what should be the characters after that so there are no angular braces used here so i can eliminate the angular braces see now all the mail ids which starts with the character which is specified here inside this brackets and uh, the domain ids of course i have restricted with uh, capital letters and small letters so you can uh, find with the restrictions and try to eliminate the unwanted situations or unwanted strings so uh, uh, what you have done basically you have done uh, pre in uh, previous examples uh, we have tried to search, we have tried to extract. So if I want to search and extract on the same line, on the same regular expression pattern. So here I have some lines in my text file, uh, something like this, X, DSPAM confidence, some uh, complicated lines along with the probability values uh, separated after the colon and space. So if I want to read, the values, the probability values. So here, understand the pattern. How is the pattern? I can create the pattern in such a way that I am looking for the line which begins with X hyphen 
Remember, the line that begins with x hyphen. In between, I may have zero or more characters still colon. See here, zero or more characters still colon, followed by the space, followed by the space. And what is there after this? I have zero to nine dot. So remember, zero to nine dot means this, is a, this represents decimal value. So I am looking for the pattern of substring which consists of which matches with the line x which begins with x hyphen it may be any number of characters in between till colon separated by a space say look at this pattern and just try to frame the patterns on regular expression using regular expression and uh, this is 0 to 9 plus that means it can be any number of decimal digits it can go up to 10 to 12 decimal digits. So if I use this pattern to search operation, see here, if I use this pattern and search operation, I have retained the same lines. I have read the inbox dot uh, text, I have uh, removed extra elements here. If this is true with this pattern, if this line is true with this pattern, so it will print the line. So I have extracted the lines which has got the pattern of this kind, this type in my mbox dot short text. Uh, assume that if you want only the numbers in the above output, you can split function, uh, you can use split function and you can uh, make these as a list of elements of first element and second element and you can um, uh, uh, and you can try to print only the second element and yeah, that is fine. But I can use find all operation. Remember, find all operation with the same pattern. This is the same pattern, but you can identify. I have used the parenthesis, which is enclosing the pattern of the substring, which I am intended to extract. Here I am intended to extract this, right? These values. I am intended to extract only the probability value. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use parenthesis inside okay i'm going to use the parenthesis and instead of search i'll use find all remember i'll use find all so uh, i won't make the changes in this program so what i'll do i have a separate program written here uh, i'll use the same string pattern but I'll enclose this in a parenthesis, 0 to 9 dot plus. So I enclose it in a parenthesis in such a way that I extract only these values. So if I run this program, so you may see only these values has been extracted. So likewise, if I use parenthesis enclosed in the pattern, it will match the pattern starting with these characters and extracts only the portion which is enclosed in the parenthesis. Remember, so here I'm interested to extract the digit portion. So it extracts only the digit portion. Okay, uh, here uh, you need to observe one more thing. Uh, you have a concept called a greedy behavior of search and extract operation. So what happens here, it basically, uh, here also I have used the same example. Uh, I I'm looking for the line which begins with details. I have the lines in my inbox containing details, colon, HTTP, and so on is equal to 39772. These kind of lines, I have so many such lines in my inbox short text. So how, how do you uh, start creating the pattern? So the pattern would be begins with, uh, let me, just try to type it here. So uh, what, what I'm trying to see it, I'm trying to look for the pattern, which begins with details colon. Okay, and I may have zero or more. Remember zero or more characters still are EV equal to see here till are EV. Okay, till are EV equal to uh, now I have which ends with some decimal numbers, some numbers and any numbers. This is very important. 
see here this plus is nothing but any number of digits this plus signifies any number of digits so now and you want to get only this value as an output so i what i need to do i need to enclose it in a parenthesis okay so now what happens if i use this pattern if i use this pattern so it will search for the line which begins with details and any number of characters see here any number of characters zero or any number of characters till till r e v equal to okay so this any number of characters till r e v equal to and what is the what is this allowed number of integers this zero to nine plus so it will search for this pattern if this pattern is true then it will extract only this part why because i have included it in a parenthesis 0 to 9 plus remember 0 to 9 plus it extracts n number of characters n number of integers how much ever integers are present inside this that will be extracted so let me put this as a comment so this is my pattern okay this is my pattern and if i use this pattern here in find all method so it simply find and it will create a list of the elements which satisfies this pattern and the list of these values will be printed see here only the list of the values will be extracted why because i have used a parenthesis which is enclosed in a substring which i am looking for so this is an example which uh, you try to get a particular substring see here Note that expression 0 to 9 is greedy because it can display a very large number. It keeps grabbing digits until it finds any other character than the digit. Yeah. Here, if I want to stop this greedy behavior, suppose if I want to, this is my string, this is my example string. And now, uh, if I am interested to know the time, that is, hour of the day inside this string so what is the pattern see i am looking for a string which starts with from okay yeah i have done this begins with from dot star from space remember this from space this is a from space and dot star zero or more than one character zero or more characters till where remember till where till here it will come why because i have another space here remember I have another space and I have represented a substring, the pattern as two digits. So this represents two digits and zero or more characters. So this will parse inside this string. Your RE will parse inside this string and it will stop here. Why? Because I mentioned two digits. Till then I had only one digit here. So that's why this was not recognized. So when you had your two digits, yeah, I have a two digits here. So now I want to extract this. So I am going to have a parenthesis here. Colon, see, the two digits before colon, this is the string. Okay. If I make this as two digits, say for example, it is 15. This will not be extracted. Why? Because I don't have colon after 15. Run this program, you see, on the nine is extracted. Suppose if I place colon, now this string is satisfied. Now this pattern is satisfied and you'll get 15. You'll get 15 as an output. Oh, you're not getting 15 here? Yeah, so I uh, have a colon here. So this is Jan 5th. So this is what? This is uh, 9. So, uh, how many numbers, how many digits you are trying to looking for, you are trying to look for. So, those many digits, you can represent it using separate square brackets and include it in a parenthesis in order to extract. So, uh, this indicates 0 to 9, 0 to 9 indicates that a digit should appear only two times before colon. Uh, suppose if I remove this colon and if I remove this and if I am only looking for, now you can see uh, 2 has appeared. Where is this 2? Yeah, this is 2. 
why? Because I don't have any substring here. It did not extract phi. So you take an assignment like how to extract this phi, the day, day of the month. Okay. That is an assignment. So write a pattern. I'll write it here. Assignment to write a pattern to extract the day of month. Day. Uh, Day, uh, daylight here it is five so that is an assignment for you uh, now so this is how i can eliminate the greedy behavior the same thing zero to nine how many characters of digits you are expecting i can use flower brackets i can use flower brackets flower braces so zero to nine, I am uh, looking for two digits. If I say three, it will have three. Like if I'm looking for three digits, it would say zero, zero, nine, something. Okay, how many digits you're actually looking for after colon? So this is two. Uh, it's a very similar, same example, but here instead of zero to nine, zero to nine, appearing it two times, I can replace this by a flower bracket. That is the only difference between the previous example and this example. Okay, uh, what if I have a special characters like uh, asterisk, uh, question mark, plus dot, dollar, etc., as the part of a substring? See here, dollar is a part of substring, and I want to, but here, dollar you have used it as the meta character. In regular expression to find the character which ends by some character okay so the dollar is used to uh, the dollar significance is used to find the end so but here the dollar is the part of the substring is a part of a substring so use backslash what you are going to use use backslash as the operator in a regular expression in if you are trying to look for a particular character which is a meta character so here if i want to extract this say for example if i want to extract the amount of the cookies in a string we just received so and so dollars for cookies so i use re dot find all because this search and extract okay re dot find Ari dot find all look for the character this becomes a character now this doesn't mean it is an end so look for the character backslash dollar after that backslash dollar you have a digit it's a float so zero to nine dot so this dot represent float plus any number of digits plus means any number of digits for the case so it will find and what is y now y is the extracted amount it finds and it extracts okay so here plus signifies any values so plus signifies any amount of values uh, if you don't use plus but if you use only uh, 0 to 9 0 to 9 inside flower bracket if i use three it may uh, print only one two and three character or if you say uh, five, it will uh, simply uh, print five digits after dollar. So now if I say plus, it means any number of digits. Okay, so uh, this is all about your regular expressions. Uh, I instruct students to go through uh, this video and download the files and uh, try to make some modifications in the program to extract a particular substring which you are intended for i will be uploading uh, this video along with this video i'll be uploading the supporting files this jupyter file as well as uh, text files just try to go through 
all the different types of examples of regular expressions as well as important meta characters all these characters you have to use the only thing is uh, you you should you should think about you should have a prior knowledge about the pattern of a substring which you are looking for create a pattern use it as a first input argument in array dot search if you are only searching for or if you want to extract use find on operation so this is all about your regular expressions uh, hope you have enjoyed this video after this video i'll be uploading quiz as well as assignments kindly per, uh, attend the quiz participate in the uh, discussions if you have more doubts kindly post it in edmodo whatever doubts you have and hope you have enjoyed this video thank you one and all